We're back here for the third time. Every time's different when we're back here. We're at different places in our lives. Everyone's a little older. It's been so much fun returning to a place that we know well. Just enough familiarity for me to have a bit of a morning routine with coffee and a beach walk and Chad kind of like walking in through Narnia. Brad kind of goes down to the beach and I go up into the mountains. And occasionally we'll meet uh, down there, shoot some hoops or hit the water. There's so much energy that we get from that that then we jump back into the studio and start recording. Chad and I can definitely feel it. For me, it's really helpful coming from the East Coast because I get up real early and then I have like three hours to work on the songs and the material when everyone's sleeping. I can get into the minutia of each tune. You can tell he's thought through everything from the 50,000 foot view to the most granular little detail. I mean, he's so meticulous and so intentional about the way he writes. Those are some lyrics, bro. Oh. Mm. Wow. I have known him for 25 years and I still don't have any idea where the well is and how he goes to it and where all these songs come from. I mean... And all this time we pledge allegiance to the tune of a thousand treasons One nation under something Underwater Under mass incarceration In the same Then I jump into it and then it's so fun to like try to figure out, well, what can I do to make it tighter and how to draw certain things out of it. In the age of feast and famine, can we destroy the social cannon? Brad is like the harmony king and he's a true talent, a real natural talent. I've just never met anyone like him who can harmonize like that. Great working with John and Saws again. Saws is in the band, so that's really helpful. And John is just kind of a mastermind of sound and uh, the palette that he chooses is amazing. Drags and Saws are such an incredible production team. They're such good guys and we work so fast and with a ton of humor, which always keeps it light and fresh. This chair is so broken. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Our resurgence in the last few years, really, a lot of that has to do with kind of the, the sound sculpting that goes into making these records. It's a really different way. We used to write songs by going out on the road for a year or two and sort of road testing a song and making a shape out of it with the band and getting it in front of an audience. And now we come into the studio really open to whatever the right feel is gonna be or the right um, idea is gonna be in the moment. We've just been doing it for so many years now that he follows along and, or I follow him. As Chad's singing through the lyrics, I'm kind of watching him and trying to learn the intonation and the timing and also uh, memorizing the lyrics. These are so new to us that we're kind of like pilot co-pilot. You know, Chad's got my back or I've got his singing the vocals. I know Brad likes like Top Gun and F-14, so that's what I, I kind of like, I like to think of it like that. Like we're, we're flying together. Very much gonna miss this place. It's got a lot of magic to it. Each time we get to record or write a song, it just feels like something you would never want to take for granted. You know, something that's so special and you're so hoping as you release the birds that like some of them are just gonna keep going and going and going. Oh, right on. 
How's the eats?